Yo, 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 what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Mihir's Trading Journey. This is your host, Mihir, and as always, it's great to have you guys here. So today, guys, I want to cover three different things. The first one being the DOM, the depth of market, the built in trade copier on Motive Wave, so you guys can copy your trades across multiple prop firm accounts or even multiple accounts across your motive wave connections and third one's going to be bracket orders or exit strategies as motive wave likes to call it which basically adds stop losses and different strategies to your order attached as you put the order in so let's get started guys first let's go ahead and add our dom or some people like to call it dome to do that what we're going to do is we're going to go to the five minutes we're going to hit this plus icon next to it and then we're going to pull up the dom dom we're going to keep the symbol as nq and we're going to go ahead and press ok now on the left side, you guys can see the DOM has been pulled up next to the five minutes. Now we don't want it here. We probably want it on one of the sides, right? I would go ahead and click and drag this DOM tab and shift it to all the way on the right hand side of our charts. That way it's not interfering with the five minutes and I can see everything clearly on screen. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the size of the DOM to be a little bit smaller. That being said, let's go ahead and check out some of the settings on the DOM. I actually reduced the amount of columns I see on the DOM. So there's less information on my DOM compared to the default setup because realistically, all I need to see is the bid and the ask, the volume and the PL personally. That being said, let's go ahead and check out how you can do that. So on the right hand side, you'll see this plus icon on the top right. You're going to go ahead and press that and you're going to see everything being displayed in the columns as a check mark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uncheck every single one of these check marks so that way I can start from scratch on building the DOM from bottom up. Now, as you guys can see, I have a blank DOM. So the first thing I liked seeing on the left hand side of my DOM is the volume. So I'm going to go ahead and select this total volume. Next, I'm going to hit the plus icon again and enable bid. Make sure you don't hit this at bid. We're going to then add the price. Next is going to be the ask. So make sure you're hitting the ask, not at ask. And finally, I like putting the PNL on the DOM as well. That way, visually, I can see how many profits I'll be making if I take my position out at a certain price level. I'm going to adjust my DOM's width so all my columns are tight and neat. Now, personally, I think the default DOM looks pretty dang ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can change that. So we're going to go to the top right hand corner of the DOM. We're going to press these two little arrows, click on it, and you can go into the actual settings gear icon. That should open up the DOM preferences. Now, personally speaking, I do not like the background color of the DOM. I want the background color of the DOM matching my theme as the trade of a theme as we set up in the previous videos. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this row color as use default and go ahead and select black in for the background. And I'm going to hit apply real quick. As you guys can see, now our row background is all black. Now, I don't mess around with a lot of these other settings, but you guys can mess around and see what you like. We're going to go down here. We're going to hit these two display icons. And for the horizontal line, we're going to go ahead and change the color. So we're going to click the gray color. However, we're going to go into more colors and we're going to go ahead and shift this downwards almost to where it is almost black. We're going to press OK and we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Now, as you guys can see, we can see the horizontal and the vertical lines. We're going to go ahead and copy our horizontal line color and we're going to put it in the vertical line as well. We're going to go ahead and go into our PL profit and we're going to change this to a shade of green. These color will help you display your PL in red or green on the right hand side. Next, I'm going to go to this bid slash ask tab. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this bid fill and this ask fill and hit apply. Next important thing you guys might want to change is the market by order, which are these like little numbers basically showing you the actual contracts being filled out. Now, if you guys don't use market by order, you probably want to disable that. If you actually come down here in the same tab, you'll see show market by order and you can just uncheck that and hit apply. For the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it disabled. However, I, I do have it enabled in my actual DOM. If we come up here and uncheck that use default and you can use the ask history fill as the default if you like the color already. But if you want to change both of them, you're going to go ahead and come up here. You're going to go into the colors. In fact, I'll go into more colors and turn the opacity down a little bit as well to like about 70%. For me, that's going to do it for the DOM. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and I'm going to press OK one more time. Now I'm done with the DOM settings, which matches our theme and it looks pretty cool and it's usable. I'm going to go ahead and set up the trade copier now and this is how you do it. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the top left side, hit file, hover over new, and then go down to trade copier account. Now you're going to name this trade copier account, whatever you want. And then you're going to choose a lead account, which by default, it's going to select one of your lead accounts. But if it doesn't go ahead and select a lead account. 
and add all the other accounts as follower accounts. Now, it doesn't matter what you set as a lead account and it doesn't matter what you set as the follower account. As long as all your accounts are listed, you're good to go. And you just need to make one of them as the lead account. For the quantity multiplier, you go ahead and set that to whatever you want. For every one contract that the lead account takes, this account will take a certain amount of contract. For example, right now I have a one to one ratio. However, if I wanted to and change this to two, now what's gonna happen is if I take one contract on the lead account, it's actually going to put two contracts on this follower account. I'm going to go ahead and revert that to the default. Now for cross trade, if you check mark this, what's going to happen is the lead account can take a mini contract, for example, and then the follower will automatically take a micro contract for that specific instrument. So for example, if I buy NQ on my lead account, all the follower accounts with the cross trade will be bought into MNQ, which is the micro version of NASDAQ contracts. But I'm not gonna go ahead and do that because I want to trade the mini version across all my accounts. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay here and that should create our trade copier. Now to access your trade copier, you can actually come down here in the DOM on the bottom right hand side. You're gonna select this drop down menu and you're gonna hit the trade copier account that you just made. Now if you buy or sell, you're gonna see that you're gonna get copied across multiple accounts that you have set up under your trade copier account. That being said, I'm gonna actually show you a better way to access this and the bracket orders together. Before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and hit this link icon on the DOM and we're just gonna go ahead and select that red link. That way the DOM actually links up with our charts. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on one of these charts. For example, for me, I'm going to click the three minute charts here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this little money icon on the top right hand side. And that's going to open our trade panel for that specific chart. So from here, there are three tabs, the position tab, order tab, and the buy sell tab. I'm going to get rid of these two, but you guys can mess around and see if you guys want to have this and you like this. If you guys want me to make an in-depth video on the trade panel itself, let me know. But for now, I'm going to get rid of these two things. So I'm going to just go into the settings, go under panels and go ahead and take the buy sell out and the orders out and hit apply and press OK. So now I only have the trade tab open. And now you guys can see that I have access to all my accounts or the trade copier on this specific chart as well. I'm gonna go ahead and click this trade copier account. Now let's go ahead and set up our custom bracket order so that way we can have a stop loss and a take profit attached to our orders from the beginning. Right now, if I go ahead and double click on the price chart, we're gonna see that we get a limit order that went through, but it's actually not attached with any bracket orders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cancel this we're going to go up here into the gear icon on top right hand side. First, we're going to go ahead and uncheck the show order ticket panel when selecting order. So this way the order just goes through without asking you for permission. Then next, we're going to go into the exit strategies. We're going to delete these default brackets. So I've deleted all the default brackets. We're going to go ahead and hit that plus icon now. And we're going to name this new bracket strategy, whatever you want the strategy to be named. For me, I'm going to name it 10 point scalp strategy. Next, what you want to do is you want to come down here to this section. You're going to X out all these other nodes. And we're going to go ahead and set this node to be a hundred percent. What that means is it's going to actually trigger 100% of your orders for exit or take profit. So for example, if I go in with one contract, it's going to take one contract out on either the stop or the loss. If I go in with two contracts, for example, it's going to take both those two contracts out when it hits my stop loss or it hits my take profit target. Now you could change that to 50%, for example, and if I take two contract trade, then it'll take out only one contract once the stop is hit for loss or the take profit is hit. I'm gonna leave that at 100%. Now we're gonna to come to stop offset. This is basically how many ticks you want as your drawdown on the trade before it stops you out. Now here you have to do some math because this depends on instrument to instrument. For example, NASDAQ is gonna be $5 per tick, making that $20 per point. That concludes that NASDAQ is four ticks per point. And for me, I set the stop loss by default to be 30 points on the NASDAQ which is going to be 120 ticks. So I'm gonna put in 120 ticks right here. And for my target offset, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 40 because I like scalping 10 points within my strategy. And we're gonna go ahead and press OK at this point. We're gonna then hit apply and we're gonna press OK. We're gonna come over to the trade tab, go into the top right hand corner, press this power button, and then choose our bracket order strategy. Now, if we try actually placing a limit order at the bottom of the price, it's gonna buy me in with my brackets as is but this is not set in stone. I can still move my brackets as they are still live and it'll change the orders accordingly. I can also actually move around my limit order and I can also move around my stop loss to whatever I want. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel these orders. One really cool thing about the bracket strategy on MotiveWave is let's say you have this turned off 
and you enter a trade and then you realize oh my brackets didn't go through because i forgot to turn this on what you can do then is actually turn this on live as your position is moving and you can press this paper clip and that's going to attach your stop loss and your profit target brackets according to what you have set up in this specific bracket strategy let me go ahead and show you what i mean so i'm going to go to the top hand corner of this gear setting and i'm going to go ahead and select simulated accounts i'm going to disable my trading for regular accounts and enable the simulated account we're going to hit apply and we're going to press ok so this way now i can click into our account tab and select simulated account so i don't actually accidentally buy into my actual accounts i'm going to go ahead and turn off the bracket strategy and hit buy market now I'm actually filled into the market. Let's say I just realized that, oh, I didn't set my bracket order. I didn't turn it on by accident. What you can do, even when you're filled out already, let you guys can see my position is at 19,701 with a $25 in profit. I can actually turn this on now and then hit this paper clip. And that's actually going to attach my bracket orders that I have set up by default in the 10 point scalp strategy. I can also go ahead and move my limit and stop limit as well, because this actually is attached to the order that I'm already in. Now, because I'm in profits, another cool thing that I can do with motive wave is press the break even button and actually be set to break even as my stop. So if I go ahead and do that, you guys can see another stop was generated at the break even price. This way, let's say I'm up 10, 15 points and I want to capture more but I don't want to lose more than zero dollars. I'm going to go ahead and press that break even so I don't lose money at all on that trade anymore. Now, it might look confusing because you guys will see two stops because you hit the break even. However, this is attached to your order. So once this is filled, both of these brackets are going to get canceled and you're going to be exited out of your position, which is about to happen, it seems like. And as you guys can see, I didn't touch anything and the break even took my brackets off. It's an order cancel order kind of strategy and all my brackets are gone and I'm out of my positions. What I'm going to do next is go onto the trade panel, hit this button at the top right hand corner and hit save as template and go ahead and name this template whatever you want. And you're going to hit save as. Now that you've done that, you're going to go ahead and click on this template and then you're going to hit default template panel. Now, the reason we did that was because you want to save that template so you can actually put that across all your charts. So if I click into my one minute chart here, press this money icon on the top right hand side. We're going to go into the template and we're going to hit default trade panel and every setting from the three minute is going to be copied over to the one minute we're going to do the same thing for the five minutes real quick so i'm going to click into the five minute chart i'm going to go ahead and hit that money icon again and then we're going to go ahead on the top right hand corner select the default trade panel and then boom we have that set as well the only thing that you need to change on each of this trade copier is the account you want to switch to simulated on all of these or the same account for example the same trade copier account and now you can go ahead and exit out of the other trade panels real quick and then now if we go ahead and select and put a limit order let's say using the one minute chart you can see that our limit and our stop has went through clearly same thing on the five minute and then if you set this bracket on one chart you can actually still be able to grab it from the other chart and move it around and update it and it's really cool how it does that live one unfortunate thing about motive wave is there's no way to arm all the charts on every session so what you have to do is you have to click into each chart every time you log into motive wave and then open up the trade panel once and then close it so all the charts are armed with the same brackets and the same accounts every single day now motive wave likes to leave your orders where you exited and where you entered on screen so what you can do to get rid of that is just right click on it and then remove filled orders and it will get rid of all the filled orders on your chart now to quickly enable and disable showing trades you can just click on the chart that you want to show or disable for example i'll click the three minutes and you come up here on the right hand side and you can press these two circles when you press it you can see the trades and when you go ahead and deselect it you'll see the trades gone. So if I go to the five minutes chart now and press that same circle, you can see the trades are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and call it there, guys. Thank you for joining in today. As I said before, I want to keep these videos short and simple so everyone's attention span can grasp all the information I'm putting out. If you really enjoyed the video and you're liking what I'm putting out, please hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike it, go ahead and press that thumbs down button. It helps with the algorithm anyways. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe as more videos are coming out. And if you didn't know, I live stream my morning trading sessions every single day. So come join us and see if you like it. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, trade safe.